All right, so here's my latest little project I gotta try to put together. We're hoping to get out the farm today and yeah, if nothing else, just have a little weenie roast. It's been a month since we've been out there since I've had my knee surgery, so we just want to get out there and spend some time. Anyway, I got this luggage rack from Harbor Freight. We bought this thing months ago. Thought it'd be good just to have it. Well, now's the time. Um, my truck is still in the shop being painted, so I want to get this put together and put this on the back of the expedition. That way we've got something can throw some firewood on it or whatever if we need to take out to the farm. I mean, obviously, we can throw it in the cargo space in the expedition, but I mean, the stroller's back there and everything else. Try to keep it clean for the kids. So, Anyway, I got this here luggage rack. I think it's going to be pretty simple, but I'm um, going to get her bolted together. It comes uh, pre-assembled. you got the two halves here. Forgive me, I'm still crutching it, but I have been released by my doctor to start weaning myself off, and that is some of the greatest news I've ever got. So it just comes with two halves that are already pre-welded together. And I reckon in here we're gonna find the main beam. Little bar. It's amazing how good you learn to do stuff one footed, one handed. Yep. Alright, so here's our main bar. Goes in your receiver hitch. And this is gonna lay right in the middle like that. Bolts are going to go right through. And hey, there are bolts. There's our pin. Ooh, and some braces. I have to read the instructions and see where those go. All right, let me get flip through the instructions here, and I'll get it bolted together, and then I'll show you how it looks. Our last cross bolt in here. Started a few out, you guys. And we got four shorter bolts here. One for either side. The cross braces lay right up here. And right up there. Makes it real easy peasy. These are all um, the nylon headed nuts too. So they shouldn't back apart. You might have to give yourself a little bit of flex there to pick it up. So it's actually got a little bit of rock to it when you put it, when you pull it all up here together. See it want to wobble back and forth. It, it balances off of that center beam. Uh, which I haven't snugged everything up, but even once I do, it'll still do it. But we're gonna put our bolt heads to the outside. Or the the uh, stud head, I mean the extension. That way we don't have bolts poking through here into the rack trying to grab a hold of stuff that's on the rack and rip it up. So there you go. Um, all I gotta do is snug all these down, which I'm gonna use my impact. It's gonna be noisy, so I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. And then I'll show you how it looks like on the vehicle. All right, let's see if we can't get this puppy in here. Oh, pretty stout. I don't know, maybe 30, maybe 30 pounds. Not too bad though. Run it in there. Oh yeah. Now this is awkward. That is kind of a pain. I'm trying to figure out how to line up your hitch here. Not wanting to. Hmm. Not wanting to feel the bolt. Oh, there it is. Wow. That runs way out off there. Well, that's good. Far enough off there, well, you don't have to worry about it smacking anything. There you go. So, it's on there nice and easy. Quick plug and play sort of application. And uh, I was worried putting it on here that it would stick out too far, you know, and it'd make it make it difficult to get into the back of the vehicle there. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a, definitely a consideration if you're loading a lot of stuff. I would load your cargo area first, obviously, and then you know come back later and, and put your actual um, rack on here and load it. But uh, for what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to pitch stuff into the cargo space, reach over, and then I'll stack stuff out on here. So anyway. We'll see how it rides and how it performs, but 
just based off I mean that's that's pretty flimsy that's really wobbles around a lot but it is what it is so we'll see how it does